Hey teachers, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save hours of your precious time planning and prepping lessons by walking you through exactly how you can use AI step-by-step -step to create all of your slideshows in literal minutes. If you're brand new here, hello, my name is Shelly. I'm a second and third grade teacher in Northern California. And if you wanna see this trick that changed the game, keep on watching. If this is your first time tuning in, something that you need to know about me is that I'm a very busy mom of three. I have a one-year-old, a three-year-old, and a five-year-old. I'm forever trying to crack the code on work-life balance. I'm very passionate about my job and passionate about creating engaging lessons for my kids, but unfortunately that comes with a sacrifice of my time, and these days, time is just not something that I'm willing to trade. I think by now, most of us educators have dabbled in AI, um, whether it be writing emails, creating test questions, we're starting to learn that AI can save us so much time, especially in an industry where our to-do list is literally never ending. And I don't know about you, but one of the areas I found that I spend almost all of my time is creating these slideshows. My district does not provide any slideshows, so I spend so much time gathering curriculum, piecemealing information, finding images and videos on the internet to create engaging slides for my kids. It actually became so much of a problem that I was ditching slideshows and just teaching out of the curriculum book because it was such a time sucker. Until now, I have recently discovered Elena AI. It's a free Google extension that works directly in Google Slides. And this extension was built specifically for educators, tailored to multiple different subjects and multiple different grade levels. And it creates slideshows for you in minutes and I cannot wait to show you how it works. So before we jump in, just a couple things to mention. Basically what it does is it will take any topic, it'll take a PDF, a YouTube video, and turn it into a full presentation. It will include images and diagrams, lecture notes if you need it, and my favorite part is that it has a bunch of educator templates to make it like fun and colorful and engaging for the kids. So I'm gonna show you the top three main ways I use it in my classroom. Um, it's so incredibly user-friendly, as you're gonna see here in just a second, and I like get giddy about it because of how much time it's going to save me, you, every teacher in the world. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna go down to the description, click the link, and it's gonna bring you here where you're going to just download the extension. Mine's already downloaded, obviously. So once it is downloaded, you're just gonna open up a Google slide, and then up at the top where it says extensions, you're gonna click extensions and then right here, Elena AI for Google Slides. Then we're gonna create a new presentation to just kind of show you how I use this in my classroom. Um, I recently taught homographs, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. So right here, I'm just gonna put in homographs and then in the prompt, you're just gonna tell it basically what you want it to create. So I'm gonna say create a presentation for second and third graders about homographs, include examples and opportunities to practice the skill. And then down here, I always leave it on auto um, because I'll show you that you can edit it or it will edit it for you um, if you need more or less. Target grade level, I'm just gonna put third. I don't have any attachments for this one, so we're gonna leave that one off. Here are some of the advanced options. For this, I kinda just wanna leave it short and concise, but depending on your grade level, you can make it longer. Um, and then I like the large font just because my kids are little. And then you're gonna come down here to create presentation and then you're gonna choose one of these Templates, I'm just gonna choose this crayons one, and then we're gonna create presentation. And then in just a couple minutes, it's gonna pop up. And then here you go, it creates all of the slides. I will show you what it looks like in full screen. So here's an example of what it created. I haven't touched this. So it tells you what homographs are, and then you can go in and edit this if you want less words, more words, change the pictures, anything you want. The word bank, so then here's an example with the word bank spring, so it's giving examples, and there's opportunities to practice. So I'm just gonna click through so you can kind of see. It did all of this for me. Like this would normally take me hours to do. And it's honestly more than I would include, more colorful, it's just all around better. And it did it in like seconds, which blows my mind. So this is one way. Okay, so the other way that I use it, which blew my mind, our math curriculum specifically has PDFs that match each lesson. So what you can do 
is again, I'm gonna to go to extensions, Elena AI, create new presentation, is I can upload the PDF and it will create a presentation based on the lesson plan. Like, let me just show you. So um, for this one in particular is geometry for my third graders. So for the prompt, I'll just say, create a presentation based on the attached lesson template, auto. Um, we're gonna go third grade, and now I'm gonna add an attachment. And it's just right here. So it takes a little bit to upload the PDF and then watch the magic. While it's uploading, let me just show you the PDF so you can kind of see. Um, this is straight out of our book, basically. So it's quadrilaterals, and then it has um, examples and practice problems. It's not all that fun, um, but this is what I use to create my own slides. So the fact that I can use it and it will create them for me is just absolutely game changing. Okay, so once it uploads, you're gonna again come down to create presentation and you're gonna pick any one of these templates. This one's geometry related, so we'll pick this one and then we'll create. Okay, so this is what it came up with. Introduction to quadrilaterals. You can see it literally takes images right out of the book, which is insane. Um, vocabulary, it includes new images. This is what I would do on my slide. Like I would screenshot this from the PDF and put it into my own slide and it does that for me in minutes. Like the amount of time that is being saved, I need to calm down. Um, parallelograms, it pulled in real world examples. So again, incredible. And then over here on the side, you can use Elena to actually edit it. So you can insert a new slide. If you don't like the way something sounds, it will rewrite it. Truly, like anything that I would need is right here, which is crazy. Okay, so that was the second way. Another way that I like to use Elena is that like if there's a topic that maybe we don't have a ton of text about or the kids are really interested in, for example, um, pioneers came up in conversation and in one of our um, small social studies texts and the kids kept asking questions. So I used Elena to create a slide deck while they were at recess because it takes no time at all. Um, let me show you, that's what I'll do for our example for this last one and show you how you can use it that way. Okay, so for this last example, we'll just call this pioneers and then for the prompt, I'll say create a presentation about pioneers traveling west. Include information and pictures about why they traveled west, what they encountered on their journey, and some of the hardships they faced. Okay, for this one, um, I don't have anything to attach. Let's do second grade. And in the advanced options, I can toggle on web research mode, which will pull information from the internet, obviously. Um, again, I'm going to make it a little bit more concise. I think I forgot to do that on the last one, so I'm going to do that. Make it big. And then we're going to choose a template. Let's go with this little checker one and create. Okay, so this is what it created, all about pioneers. Who were the pioneers? Why did they go west? So again, the time that it would take me to go find this information and create this slideshow, every time it spits out a slideshow at me, I'm always blown away. So this is just showing you it's clean, it's concise, it's easy to understand. It's amazing. Okay, so I wanna show you how you can edit some things um, or how it edits it for you, really, over here on the side. Um, for example, maybe you want to change the theme. So if you go to change slide layout, you can just pick a different theme and it'll show you what it will look like kind of down here. So you can do that. Um, what I really like though is if I want to rewrite the slide, for example, maybe I want to elaborate this particular slide, I will click elaborate and then submit. So then boom, as you can see, it gave me a ton more information. Obviously we need a little bit of formatting, but that's seconds compared to the time that it saved me creating the slideshow. Okay, so that's the third and final way that I'm going to show you in this video how I am using Elena. Okay, so I hope that gives you a good picture on how you can use Elena AI. It's seriously, the opportunities are endless. I don't care if you teach kindergarten or you're teaching college, it will create slides for whoever your audience is. The amount of time that is being saved. I always knew that AI was gonna come into education and rock our world, but Elena AI is truly the best slideshow creator that I have found to date and is completely changing my classroom. My goal here on social media as a teacher and a mom is to find ways to help you balance your work and your personal life. I get as teachers, we spend so much of our personal time doing things like this, making slideshows, making sure our kids are engaged. Elena AI is solving that problem for us.
Now we get to hang out with our kids, our own kids, and then go to school and hang out with our other kids and not have to spend our personal time creating slideshows. Okay, so now that you've seen how it works, go down to the description, click the link, download the extension, and just play with it. Make your slides for the week in three minutes and then enjoy your weekend. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you don't follow me, go follow me over on Instagram. Other than that, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.